Very happy to be back um, in this studio. Very fond memories here and in this neighborhood. It's all the talk of diners, which Joe is very anti-diner. I'm very pro-diner. We fall on opposite sides of the fence on that one. Um, it reminded me, there's a diner right around the corner from here, and I haven't thought about this in a while. My favorite piece of graffiti I've ever seen was in the stall at the Olympic Flame Diner <laughs> for years. This was in this men, men's room stall for years. There, it said, call this number, and then there was a phone number, and it said, I will suck your dick. <laughs> call this number. It will be a high school. Ask for Mr. Lifson. He is a science teacher. I am him. I will suck your dick. <laughs> and it was the best. It was the best. It was my, the best attempt I've ever seen by some dumb teenager to somehow humiliate it. Like, and the best part is, I bet someone was desperate enough one day to call and was like, "Uh, hey, is uh, Mr. Lifson busy right now?" Or like, I'd call him. You would call him? I would. I'm getting heckled at a legitimate television show. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. I uh, very happy to be here. Now, now Rob, it's me you mentioned. Uh, also, I want to say one thing, Rob. I have finally learned after many years of you reminding me that you are not, in fact, Canadian. For many, many years, <laughs> I believe you went to college in Canada, and because of that, I thought you were Canadian. And I want to apologize to you because for multiple moments, there have been at least half a dozen times where I've asked you what it was like growing up in Canada, <laughs> and you have very gently explained to me once again that you are not, in fact, Canadian. <laughs> My birthday gift to you tonight is that I have learned once and for all, you briefly resided in Canada. You are, but you're also very nice, which adds to the Canadian nature of things. You have a Canadian vibe. Um, but Rob, you mentioned you saw me do improv. I actually really quit doing improv uh, years ago. I, I do it very, very sparingly, once, twice a year, if that. Um, but I was thinking to challenge myself. I've actually never done. I've done almost everything at MNN. I've never done improv here. And and people have asked me over the years, "Are you ever do improv?" I said, "No, I don't like it. I don't want to commit it to film." But that's where you first saw me. That's very nice. So I was hoping, that if it was okay with you, rather than do stand up, I'd like to use the rest of my set to do some improv, if that's okay. So I'm going to ask a good friend of mine. I believe he took a level one improv class in 2009. Brett Davis and I are going to do some improv, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Energy. Yes, and yeah. So Brett and I have not talked about this. This is not a joke at all. We it's completely made up, right on the scene. <laughs> you won't believe your eyes. Don't ask us afterwards if we wrote it, because we didn't. <laughs> I bet we have maybe five minutes left. If that, Rob, as a, as a birth, as the birthday boy, can we have a suggestion? What would you like to see your birthday improv be about? Uh, uh, tire swing. A tire. I heard tire swing. I heard tire swing. <laughs> Thank you. Tire swing. <sighs> Say, uh, are these these tires that are out here? Are they are they just for free? Are they like kind of ripped or anything? Or are you selling them? No, those are free tires. <laughs> I'm giving those away. As long as you don't ask me why I have them or why I'm giving them away, then you can have them. <laughs> and then they're your problem. <laughs> and then the curse is attached to you. Nah. Hey, I don't want to be a... Uh, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but you mentioned the curse. I took things a little bit too far. I'm not... I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to ask you what the curse is. I'm just going to say that you said it, and then I'm going to continue to ask did. questions about these tires. Yeah. And, you know, if that leads to more information, because you seem to volunteer that first part real fast. I got a real motor mouth, you know? Okay. I need to learn when to take my foot off the gas when it comes to talking, because I didn't want you to know that at all. These are great tires, quality <laughs> tires. They'll get you through the snow. I'm not going to lie. The cat's out of the bag. They are cursed. I'd rather not say how. Um, I will tell you that I once also came into possession of them for free. That is part of it. It's a little bit like the ring. You know the ring? The videotape? No, I know the magazine, the boxing magazine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. List the different weight mm -hmm. classes, different matches, recaps, weight classes, who's coming up. Yeah, is that movie so you know about the, the boxing magazine? No, I'm glad you haven't seen it because it would maybe indicate some elements of the curse that I don't want you to oh, know. Oh, what's the movie about then? It's about like a videotape where when you watch it, you're going to die unless you can get somebody else to watch it before you die. And there's this little girl, she crawls out of fucking TV. Spoilers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, it's like that. Like It's funny you mentioned little girl because I was actually going to take uh, one of these tires and make a tire swing. Uh, for my, yeah, uh... she'll die. <laughs> If you did that with one of these tires, she'll die. If you try to have fun with these tires. 
The whole curse is like if you put these on your car, you'll die unless you can get them onto somebody else's car before you die. I've almost died so many times since I got these tires. And if you put them on your car, then you'll die unless you can get somebody to take them off your hands. It's a whole thing. I shouldn't be saying any of this. Trust me, I, I do these Craigslist things all the time. Yeah. And people are just sometimes dishonest. And you get home and you got a lemon or something, you know. Uh, yeah. But, uh. No, I'm not lying. I'm not. There's five dishonest. tires here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, presumably, only four of them were on a car. Yeah. And who knows if they were all cursed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, with, with, with some certainty, you could say maybe these aren't all, uh, a, a cursed, cursed set. Maybe it's just like one or two. It's a fair two. question. Fair question. I'll never know. I came into them as uh, in possession of a set. If somebody was to split them up, give them to five people, and see which individual became cursed, or if all five individuals became cursed, that would be up to them. What I can say right here, right now, not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past, is that I'm fucked. And <laughs> I'm fucked bad. And the only other thing I can say is that I think these would look great on your car. I can also say that. Looking at this automobile. Do they got any rips in them or anything? No rips, no tears. They're great in the snow. You don't have to put chains, all wheel drive, off wheel drive. I've driven these things up mountains. I've driven these things over. I've driven these things through shallow bodies of water. Wait, you drove uh, cursed tires on a, up a mountain? Sometimes, to be fair, to be fair, I didn't necessarily drive. Sometimes the car takes you places. <laughs> That's part of the curse is that the tires can overtake any automobile and put you in situations that are truly death inducing unless you happen to make them death defying. Um, a lot of times you'll go to open the door and the lock will just start fucking with you going up and down on its own. This thing once drove me into a functioning circus into the middle of a lion act the, through the cage. The people fled, the lion tamers fed, fled, the lions surrounded me. Oh, my the lions attacked me the through circus. the car. My kid loves the circus. Yeah, yeah. That being said, really great traction, <laughs> fantastic traction. The traction is really, it leaves nothing to be desired. <laughs> We'll say sometimes a demon does speak through the tires. Mm -hmm. You know, I came here looking for just a good pair, you know, a good set of tires. Yeah. But I'm a weird Craigslist guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I do weird shit sexually. Is this the weirdest thing you ever got off Craigslist? Oh, hell no. Curse no. tires? <laughs> no, that, got, that's not it? The, the kid. The kid. <laughs> that's not your kid. No, it's, well, it's my kid. I got it. <laughs> Biologically, though, it wasn't always your kid. I bought the kid, so <laughs> legally, you know, but. Uh, uh, Smugglers rules. Uh, the kid right. is mine. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna look the other way on that one. You don't worry. You help me deal with the tire situation. I won't call the authorities on your kid situation. Okay. So what are we looking at for for his tires? Free, buddy. You take them on my hands. These are for you, man. No, These are for no, you. No, you there's got to be a catch. No. There's got to be a catch. <laughs> no catch. The only catch is that you will be the one cursed. You and your family and your children and the people you love will be My children are going to be cursed? Yeah, well, uh, not only through your eventual death. I mean, it will focus solely on you, but that will bring sadness to them. Because I have kids I like. I mean, this thing's going to try to drive you right straight into walls. It's going to try to drive you into other cars. You put these cars, yeah. tires on your car, it's going to drive you into fire. That's cool. I get off on yeah. that because I'm a weird Craigslist guy. Yeah, but. yeah. I gotta think about my family, my wife and my real kid, you know? Yeah. Oh, you have a real kid too? Yeah. Is your real kid competitive with the kid you bought? Uh, yeah. I, I, I could see the that. The one kid trains fighting with the, the, the younger one. Oh, the, which the one? The bought one, the girl. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you like the ring. Mm -hmm. It's boxing. Yeah. <laughs> you encourage fighting. Yeah, encourage fighting with the stranger's kid. Yeah, I guess I'll take these. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much. You freed me from a truly stressful, um, Short life. No, Thank you no, for that. No, no, it's like no, a second yeah. lease on life here. Yeah. They are yours now. Now that you've verbally said it, they're yours. The curse is yours. Cool. This is like a Pandora's box situation. Not really. I mean, you knew exactly what you were getting into. <laughs> yeah, I guess you were pretty descriptive with the what the curse will entail. <laughs> yeah. So are you, you got two tires on each arm. You just want me to put the fifth one around your neck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, man. All right. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing now? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That went well. That was great, right? Yeah. It went a lot better than I think either one of us thought.